name's Adrian Davis and I am a former rugby player many moons ago for, uh, back in Wales for Neath and for Cardiff and uh, then I joined Richmond Football Club when the game went professional in 96 uh, which was a very enjoyable time for, uh, for all of us that were amateur and became professional. Unfortunately it didn't last very long as uh, the finance ran out at, uh, at Richmond um, and we were all uh, passed on to elsewhere. I couldn't play because I was injured and then uh, I managed to uh, pick up a role at London Welsh where I was director of rugby for five years and uh, also sat on the board of the limited company for a couple of years. Uh, that was my uh, playing days in a, uh, in a snapshot uh, and out of that Although a chartered surveyor by trade, didn't fancy going back into the uh, into the property game, and I set up a small company eight years ago with two other guys from London Welsh, which was uh, in essence an outsourced commercial solution for junior rugby clubs. That's what we set up, and now that's evolved significantly over the last eight years uh, to deal primarily within the corporate market and also the uh, online gaming space. a decent person and then whether that be in a music group or a theatre group or a rugby group then I'm sure if you build that relationship people are willing to help you if there's an opportunity so uh, the last thing I'd be recommended uh, or recommending is just that you need to uh, to go out and get every business card or every phone number that's not how business works in my um, sort of experience uh, it's just a case of if you're committed to the rugby club, the same as sometimes, as many times, the spectators are, the supporters are, if you're part of a group, then people are genuinely willing to help you as and when the opportunity arises. So that would be my only, uh, that would be my sort of recommendation, is not try to push it too hard in any way, shape or form, but there are, are opportunities and generally people are willing to, uh, to help as and when. We're probably um, actually in the office here. We probably bring that uh, bring that banter and, and the uh, the fun of a rugby environment into the office every day. That all of the guys that uh, um, we've employed here have all played rugby, and in fact, my uh, my fellow two directors uh, both played at London Welsh um, under me when I was director of rugby, and. Uh, one of them maintains that he was never dropped and the other one was only picked once <laughs> so <laughs> maybe the boys can have a look on the website and, and decide which one they think was the one that only played once under me but generally even, even eight years on that's still a bit of uh, a bit of banter on a weekly basis in the uh, in the office but I, I just think that those that fun from a rugby environment where you know there's time and a place it's based around friendships uh, and we are incredibly lucky to, uh, to have an office environment uh, where we are working still within sport, it's evolved from rugby but with guys that, uh, that have played rugby and understand those, sort of, uh, those values, those requirements of when to have a bit of fun and when to actually deliver from a business perspective.